Hello, and welcome to this video where we will explore the fascinating concept of time crystals. Time crystals are a new form of matter that could change everything we know about physics and the nature of time. But what are they, and how do they work? Time crystals are systems of atoms that arrange themselves in time the way more traditional solids crystallize in space. In other words, they are periodic structures that repeat not only in space, but also in time. This means that they can exhibit motion without energy, breaking one of the fundamental symmetries of physics. Time crystals were first proposed by Nobel laureate Frank Vilcek in 2012, who wondered if it was possible to create a state of matter that would spontaneously break the symmetry of time translation, just as ordinary crystals break the symmetry of space translation. He imagined a ring of atoms that would rotate endlessly in their lowest energy state, without any external force or energy input. However, Vilcek's idea was soon shown to be impossible in a system that is in equilibrium, meaning that it has reached a stable state where its properties do not change over time. Such a system would violate the second law of thermodynamics, which states that entropy, or disorder, always increases in an isolated system. But what if the system is not in equilibrium? What if it is constantly driven by an external force, such as a laser or a magnetic field, that periodically changes its parameters? Could such a system still exhibit time crystalline behavior, without violating any laws of physics? The answer is yes, and this is what scientists have achieved in recent experiments. By using different methods and materials, such as trapped ions, diamond effects, and superconducting coolbits, they have created systems that oscillate with a period longer than the driving force, indicating a broken symmetry in time. These systems are called discrete or fleckle time crystals, and they are a new phase of non-equilibrium matter. But why are time crystals so interesting and important? Well, for one thing, they challenge our understanding of the nature of time and its relation to entropy. They also open up new possibilities for quantum technologies, such as quantum computing and quantum metrology. Time crystals could potentially be used as quantum memory devices that store information in their periodic motion, or as quantum clocks that keep accurate time without any external reference. In this video, we will explain how time crystals work in more detail, and explore some of their applications and implications. We will also discuss some of the open questions and challenges that remain in this exciting field of research. Stay tuned for more. Time crystals are a new form of matter that could revolutionize our understanding of physics and the nature of time. They are systems of atoms that arrange themselves in time the way ordinary crystals arrange themselves in space. In other words, they are periodic structures that repeat not only in space, but also in time. This means that they can exhibit motion without energy, breaking one of the fundamental symmetries of physics. To understand what time crystals are and how they work, we need to review some basic concepts of physics and symmetry. Symmetry is a property of a system that does not change when it undergoes a certain transformation. For example, a circle is symmetric under rotation, meaning that it looks the same no matter how much you rotate it. A square is symmetric under reflection, meaning that it looks the same when you flip it over. Symmetry is important in physics because it implies conservation laws. For example, the symmetry of space translation, meaning that the laws of physics are the same everywhere, implies the conservation of momentum. The symmetry of time translation, meaning that the laws of physics are the same at any time, implies the conservation of energy. However, symmetry can also be broken, meaning that a system does not have the same property after undergoing a certain transformation. For example, a snowflake is symmetric under rotation by 60 degrees, but not by any other angle. A magnet is symmetric under reflection along its axis, but not by any other direction. Symmetry breaking can lead to interesting phenomena and new phases of matter. For example, when water freezes and ice, it breaks the symmetry of space translation, meaning that it has a fixed shape and structure that depends on its orientation. Ice is an example of a solid crystal, which is a phase of matter characterized by a periodic arrangement of atoms in space. But what if we apply the same logic to time? What if there is a phase of matter that breaks the symmetry of time translation, meaning that it has a fixed shape and structure that depends on its temporal orientation? What if there is a phase of matter that has a periodic arrangement of atoms in time? This is what Nobel laureate Frank Vilcek proposed in 2012, when he coined the term time crystals. He imagined a ring of atoms that would rotate endlessly in their lowest energy state, without any external force or energy input. Such a system would spontaneously break the symmetry of time translation, just as ordinary crystals break the symmetry of space translation. However, Vilcek's idea was soon shown to be impossible in a system that is in equilibrium, meaning that it has reached a stable state where its properties do not change over time. 
Such a system would violate the second law of thermodynamics, which states that entropy, or disorder, always increases in an isolated system. A system that rotates endlessly without energy would have zero entropy, which is impossible. But what if the system is not in equilibrium? What if it is constantly driven by an external force, such as a laser or a magnetic field, that periodically changes its parameters? Could such a system still exhibit time crystalline behavior, without violating any laws of physics? The answer is yes, and this is what scientists have achieved in recent experiments. By using different methods and materials, such as trapped ions, diamond effects, and superconducting coolants, they have created systems that oscillate with a period longer than the driving force, indicating a broken symmetry in time. These systems are called discrete or flexible time crystals, and they are a new phase of non-equilibrium matter. But why are time crystals so interesting and important? Well, for one thing, they challenge our understanding of the nature of time and its relation to entropy. They also open up new possibilities for quantum technologies, such as quantum computing and quantum metrology. Time crystals could potentially be used as quantum memory devices that store information in their periodic motion, or as quantum clocks that keep accurate time without any external reference. Time crystals are still a very new and active field of research, and there are many open questions and challenges that remain to be answered. For example, how do we classify and characterize different types of time crystals? How do we create and manipulate time crystals with more complex structures and dynamics? How do we measure and verify the existence and properties of time crystals? How do we exploit the potential implications and advantages of time crystals? How do we understand the fundamental implications and limitations of time crystals? These are some of the questions that physicists are trying to answer with theoretical and experimental tools. Time crystals are a fascinating and complex topic that requires a lot of physics knowledge to understand. Creating and manipulating time crystals with more complex structures and dynamics is a challenging and adaptive area of research in condensed matter physics. There are different methods and materials that can be used to realize time crystals, such as trapped ions, diamond effects, and superconducting cool bits. Each of these systems has its own advantages and limitations, and requires different techniques to control and measure the time crystalline behavior. One of the main challenges is to design a periodic driving force that can induce the spontaneous breaking of time translation symmetry in the system, without heating it up or destroying its coherence. The driving force must be carefully tuned to avoid resonances or unwanted transitions that could disrupt the time crystalline order. Moreover, the driving force must be robust against noise and fluctuations that could affect its frequency or amplitude. Another challenge is to characterize the properties and phases of time crystals, such as their order parameter, susceptibility, phase diagram, and topological features. These quantities can reveal important information about the nature and stability of time crystals, as well as their potential implications. However, measuring these quantities can be difficult, especially in systems that are strongly interacting or have many degrees of freedom. Therefore, new methods and tools are needed to probe and manipulate time crystals with high precision and resolution. Some of the recent advances in this field include, the creation of a time crystal using Google's Sycamore Quantum Computing Hardware 1, which demonstrated a robust time crystalline order in a system of 20 superconducting qubits driven by microwave pulses. The researchers were able to measure the order parameter and susceptibility of the time crystal, as well as observe its phase transition and dynamical response. The discovery of a new type of time crystal called a complex time crystal 2, which exhibits a richer variety of symmetry breaking patterns than the conventional discrete time crystals. A complex time crystal can have multiple frequencies or phases in its oscillation, as well as higher order harmonics or harmonics. The researchers proposed a scheme to realize a complex time crystal using trapped ions driven by big chromatic laser fields. The exploration of the connection between time crystals and quantum chaos 3, which is a phenomenon that describes the extreme sensitivity of quantum systems to small perturbations. The researchers showed that quantum chaos can enhance or suppress the formation of time crystals, depending on the nature and strength of the driving force. They also proposed a way to measure the quantum chaos in time crystals using out-of-time order correlators. These are some examples of how physicists are trying to create and manipulate time crystals with more complex structures and dynamics. Time crystals are still a very new and exciting topic that offers many opportunities for discovery and innovation. Time crystals are a new and exciting form of matter that could have many potential applications and advantages in various fields of science and technology. Some of the possible ways to exploit the properties of time crystals are quantum computing. Time crystals could be used as quantum memory devices that store information in their periodic motion without losing coherence or requiring external cooling. 
This could improve the performance and scalability of quantum computers, as well as protect them from noise and errors. 12. Quantum Metrology Time crystals could be used as quantum clocks that keep accurate time without any external reference, such as atomic clocks or GPS signals. This could enable more precise measurements of physical quantities, such as gravitational waves, magnetic fields, or temperature 34 fusion energy. Time crystals could be used to create more stable and efficient plasma confinement and fusion reactors, by exploiting their ability to break time symmetry and resist entropy. This could enhance the fusion process and reduce the energy loss and waste. Nanotechnology Time crystals could be used to create double nanomaterials and devices that have unique optical, electrical, or mechanical properties, such as superconductivity, magnetism, or elasticity. This could lead to new applications in fields such as medicine, communication, or engineering. These are some of the possible ways to exploit the potential applications and advantages of time crystals. However, there are still many challenges and open questions that need to be addressed before time crystals can be fully utilized in practice. For example, how to create and manipulate time crystals with more complex structures and dynamics, how to measure and verify their existence and properties, and how to understand their fundamental implications and limitations. Time crystals are still a very new and adaptive field of research that offers many opportunities for discovery and innovation. That was it, bye.